Hey everybody, Edo here, and I am excited today because I have Jeremy Howard on the line. Say hello, oh, Jeremy. Man. Hello, party people. How y'all doing, man? I'm so excited to be here. I've been watching you for a long time, oh, I and I admire you. It. And you happen to publish good games, so I'm actually happy to be here. <laughs> well, actually, and and so that we'll we'll start with good games, I guess. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, the first time you and I crossed paths, and I don't I don't exactly remember, but I think I think. I had Skull Hollow, and I was like, "Hey, anyone want to play?" I don't. Was, do you remember how you got Skull Hollow the first time? Uh, you know what? This is how we crossed paths. This oh, is you're how gonna tell me about it. You don't we, even remember. We crossed right? paths because I was going to see Keith. Keith is one from Wisconsin. Keith Mateka. He's oh. from Wisconsin, and I was going to see him just to say hi. Are you based in Wisconsin? Think, Wisconsin? Yeah, I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay. And I think, yeah, I was at his booth, and you were there, because you guys were sharing a booth, I think it was. Right, right. Oh, and at Origins, I I maybe. Up, yeah, and I yeah, think yeah. I ended up just talking to you. We just briefly, briefly talked. Um, but I really got in contact with you because of Skull Collar. Right. And uh, that was where we kind of started engaging and stuff like that. And then I started working with Anne Maria and, and stuff like that through that. And then 100 Tory, stuff like sure, that. Sure, so, sure. But, the, yeah, but yeah. The, I, I mean, like, I distinctly remember. Yeah, so remember that. The or, Origins and or whatever event it was, probably Origins. But um, yeah. you got the copy, uh, mm -hmm. no problem. I, and mm -hmm. I, you you know, you like the game, which is great. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I just remember you, you, the enthusiasm in your review was fantastic. I was like, this guy yeah. is awesome. So Dude. like right there, I was like, this guy is awesome. Um, I think that was so. So one of the things I like doing on the channel, right? And so so basically, from there, you're doing a lot of content. You do a lot of general stuff. You've been known for solo, and then now you're part of man, a contributor for Man versus Meeple. Yeah. Um, you did some Dice Tower things. So I, yeah. like you're big media, right? You're mm -hmm. like in all these different places in media, and I want to hear about that. But but just to back up before we met about mm. Skull Call, like. You said yeah. you could have been like, Ed, that was my first video, or Ed, I was around for three years, and that's when you first saw my video. How did you get into games, and then like, how did you start getting into media and content creation and doing all that stuff? Um, well, of course, games start you know when you're little. Um, mine is very easy. You know, I come from a game. I've come from a family that played games, but like you know, I went to the boys and girls club. A whole bunch of donations came from somewhere, and I started playing board games, and uh, that was kind of cool. You know, other than that, other than that, we had a bumper pool table that got like half the bumpers, and uh, <laughs> and we had board games. So I played a lot of the, you know, a lot of Stratego and, and a lot of uh, Tiddlywinks and fine, all kinds fine of games. Games, fine games. As I always say, I like you know, I was like, I like backgammon, I like all that stuff. So I was kind of ingrained in that, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, one of the Christmases, I didn't even get any money, and we didn't get anything for Christmas. Me and my mom just played board games together. Yeah. So it was the best Christmas ever. And uh, I'll never forget that. Wow, I get emotion. I think about that. It was the best Christmas ever. We just, played board game again, and that's it. And my my dad came and picked us up, and then we went to my grandma's, and she got me everything I wanted for Christmas. It was very sad. <laughs> it was actually a sad Christmas because I just wanted to be with my mom. But uh, uh, I'm yeah, sorry to hear like, that. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I, I did that. But like this recent stuff, I just got back into it. Another kind of sad thing. Uh, well, my my uh, father in law passed. Mm -hmm. uh, he left some money for us. And, uh, my, my wife is like, well, I want you to do something happy because he wants you to be happy. He want us to be happy. And, you know, she was like, you can be a little frivolous. I said, well, I love, I love board games. I just kind of started to look into them. You know, you mind if I buy a couple? She's like, no, just get, like, get yourself going. I know you, how you are. Get yourself <laughs> going. Buy 10. So, yeah. She was <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. You know? So she just was like, don't feel bad. Just, just get some stuff, you know? And I went and I bought Mage Knight. I bought, you know, I bought all these games that are like dungeon crawlery because I was just in a video game phase, you know. Sure, sure. And uh, I went with what was, what was comfortable, and uh, yeah, it, it grew from there. That was around 2015, 2016. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, I started to really get into it, but I was almost like primarily just solo games. I didn't have, you know, I didn't go to the board game stores necessarily. Or and, a lot and your of wife didn't online. play the heavy games with you. No, and she just didn't play. Like right. she really just didn't play. It was like, it was my, my thing, you know, it was just my thing. And she's always been fine with that. We really have like these separate hobbies that we do, like, you know, just kind of hard. So I was like a solo gamer to the core. Um, but around, was it Gen Con 50, which is the next year, I believe 2017, I was playing Kingdom Death Monster, which is a huge campaign, like 
Kickstarter monster, monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Kickstarter monster, you're all in. It's a quality of life game. You, you're pretty much only playing that game. If you're playing Kingdom, you're not playing another game. So I was playing that game. And for, you're 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 crushing yeah. up eyeballs and mm-hmm. stealing souls and all yeah, we're not gonna. Stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna get into the explicit contents of those things, um, but when I when I wanted to go to Gen Con, you know, we weren't spending money like that anymore, you know, so I said, what can I do? I have to go to Gen Con Fifty, which used to be in Milwaukee, by the way, and I was like, well, how bad do I really want to do this? I'll sell my Kingdom Death Monster. So I sold everything from Kingdom Death Monster, which if people know this, this is like hundreds, if not thousands of dollars worth of stuff. I sold all of it to pay for my trip to Gen Con, and on my way to Gen Con, I just sat there, and I was just like, I want to make board game content. Yep, I'm going to be a board game content creator. <laughs> well, you got no more games to play. <laughs> and that's what I did. You know, that's what I did. I, I was like, I got this, I'm going to do this website. I've been kind of dabbling, thinking about it. And, uh, you know, shout out to Mark Spector for, you know, really making me do that. Slicker Drips, you know, all these people that I really admire. And I went to them for advice and they were like, just do it, man. Just do it. But Mark Spector really kind of greased that and he, wheel. And he's based in Madison too, right? Or am I crazy? Uh, Mark Spector, I believe, is in, uh, he's in uh, Michigan. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Grand Gamers Guild. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Just lump us all as Midwesterners together. Yeah. I, I, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Us, hold on. Just, we all live 20 miles it's, apart. It's okay? true. <laughs> <laughs> that that's just one region, but it it should be noted that I did go to the U of M for four years, yeah. so I did spend oh, some time that? in that area. How about that? Uh, <laughs> but but I still lump y'all together. Yeah. So I just decided to do it, and I started with a really crappy blog on your um, phone. I fi- yeah. I, oh yeah. So this is this is just blogging. So oh, I was blogging. blogging. Oh sure, I, sure. Man, we're talking like written English word. as a second. Oh my goodness! English as a second language, pretty much, because I was typing terribly. <laughs> like I was bad. I was so bad, and uh, you know, I was just trying to make it work. And I did it for a year, and then I, I went to Origins, probably the year I met you. And I just decided to do the camera thing with the phone, right? And uh, a phone and a tripod and a dream and a whole bunch of wires everywhere. A whole bunch of wires. <laughs> and so, wires so then, everywhere. so then, the skull call thing was sort of early in what you were doing. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. Yeah, it was like in that. Yeah. It was like in that early, before my second year, probably. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It was still early. And so, okay, so you start getting some games for free or mm-hmm. from people. You start doing videos. Um, did you have a lot of traction on your channel at first? Did it take some time to get going? Uh, well, the thing was is that I did, I, I kind of went the promotional route. Right. So I decided that I was going to do a lot of promoting of other people's product. Um, that was just a thing that I decided because it's the energy that I can give to a product. Sure. And I didn't have a necessarily a format for that, for, for reviewing and things like that. I mean, were you using so I, a word like right. format when you were back then? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry. So I just decided, I said, what are my strengths? I'm going to play to my strengths. And if I find products that I think are fitting with what I want to promote, then I'll do that for publishers. That, that gets you, you know, it's a lot of fun. It can be a lot of fun. Hey, publishers uh, don't games, mind. Yeah. Publishers don't mind free promotion. Um, so I did that stuff for Board Game Revolution for a while, where I had a live show every Friday, where I would just do uh, quick demos and overviews of games. It was completely insane. I did it every Friday for a year, year and a half. There it goes <laughs> and, Fridays, and, then, and your yeah, and your so, wife was like, right? My wife's like, uh, <laughs> so yeah, it, it was a strange, but I had become addicted to the board game community, and right. that's you know really at the heart of it, who I am is a community person. So, um, I got to do that. And of course, when publishers, you do that for publishers, they love that. So <laughs> I got to certainly, meet a lot of certainly a, a, a good way yeah. to uh, get on the, on the good page with a publisher. Yeah. And, uh, so board game revolution. So in some ways they're feeding you product, right? Uh, that's correct. Co- what's that guy's name? Uh, uh, Thomas covert, covert, covert. Thank you. Covert. You know, it's, Covert is getting um, games in, setting up, sort of doing the legwork a little bit, and then saying, "Hey, we got this guy," and passing them to you, and you're getting all oh. this content to go through, right? Nope, I did oh. all the work myself. All right. He did nothing. <laughs> you did everything. I'm, yeah. Got it backwards. Now, he, did, he did a couple things, but he saw that like I, I mean, I do it. Like I'm, I, I do my thing. Like I used to work in, I used to work in sales, so I, I'm really good at that part. But the big thing with me is, is that like. I actually give a damn, you know, sure, like sure. what well, I'm yeah, doing. It's, so it's, it's like, your content, right? I, I just won't do it. Like I won't do it. So people would say like, 
well, that's kind of, you know, shill like or whatever. I'm like, well, yeah, for those people, but like, not for me. I actually like to help people. Well, <laughs> so. Sure. Well, and also, you know, I think, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, I just did a review for uh, Nanga Parbat, which is a two player game for Steve yeah. Finn. Uh, and we have a long standing relationship, but the game's great. And like, I like games. So, like, I don't have any problem making a video about a great game, whether or not I like the person. You know, mm-hmm. it's just, I, I enjoy it. I, I don't either. Um, I think people are going to start seeing the other side of me. So, I'm just going to have to, <laughs> that's going to be a shock because I don't love everything. Oh, uh, so are you getting a new, what is, what do you, what is Jeremy Hate channel? No, uh, so, no, 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 no. We're just, we're going to be moving more into some critical reviews so people can see the other sides of things oh, that sure. I don't just, you know, like I'm not just, you know, doing the, the promotional stuff and uh yeah because like even just this last video i did for this uh big chest back here i mean like i can't do stuff for chip theory they're my friends like i can't like, sure there's sure. no like it's just it, it's a total farce if i even tried to be like well this is critically i just want to say that this is not i wouldn't even i just rather not they're like you can't do that certain stuff you just gotta stay keep your hands away from so and that's what i there's certain people i just have to I'm not doing that, you know. Like, I'm not doing it. It's just like saying no to something you don't like. So it's just like saying no to something. Yeah. I can't do that, dude. And so okay, <laughs> and so and so you start doing your channel, you're getting some yeah. stuff on your own, you do some stuff with Board Game Revolution, you're doing a lot of legwork. Certainly during this period I know you were very active on Facebook and in the communities as you were mentioned, and really doing the legwork of being engaged and interesting and asking questions and following up and doing all the promotion. Mm-hmm. So at some point how does that, where did that shift from like you doing your own thing to then man versus me? Well, I assume that was the next thing. How did that happen? Cause... Um, yeah. So yeah, there's a progression to all that, man. You know, like, um, you know, relationship change and, uh, yeah, relationships change and you get, you get put under pressure. Um, a lot of people, you know, I, I just say this, like, people, you know, some people just don't understand the pressure that goes into creating content at that amount or that level in a sense not level meaning that mine is higher than anybody's but just like it's a lot of work you have to right it's a lot of work and you you're you're getting better at your work and there was things that i wasn't getting better at necessarily i was still having these kind of like processes where it was just too too much on me i realized that but there were still deadlines so it's like you gotta you know i was working through that and i remember um i was doing like i think i did like four fourteen or so like previews or promo stuff in like a month. And I could not believe that I did it. And the way I looked after that and the way my wife, uh, <laughs> I tell you, I tested it. I tested our marriage and I just, I, you know, I just think to myself, that was not worth it. And that was the beginning of me kind of transitioning away from board game revolution. Cause I had taken on too much and, sure. uh, you know, and I also just realized what I was doing there. Just, I just needed to move forward. And, um, yeah, so then it came around, let's say, like, that was in January, and then I had a couple people offering me to go here or there, um, and I was I was like, wow, this is cool, I'm kind of a free agent, and it feels good, and, like, people want me, and, you know, and I, but I didn't know what to do, you know, and uh, and I happened to talk to Kira, and Kira is a really good friend of sure. mine, Kira Peebly. Mm-hmm. Um, off-duty and, uh, ninja now? Yep, off-duty ninja, and she has been with me since I was, a you know, a blogger with 29 subscribers, so... She she's she was really believed in me, and she said, "Hey, you're gonna come with me to MVM," and I said yes. And that was that, so. and that was like she was with Colossal for a while, right? Was that yes, she that was. Yep. yep. And we met when we when she was with Colossal. We actually met in person, and we talked for like an hour and a half. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it just kind of worked. And yeah, she's always been a promoter of me. She's kind of like my manager in a sense. So it's like I you know I've been with her. She just she's just my ride ride or die. She's my dog. You know, and she 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 took care of me. She brought me to MVM, and the rest is history. It's been over a year now. And and so okay, so let's let's talk about this transition. So you're doing your own stuff, and then you're doing the BGR stuff, where you're doing a lot of leg work for it. it BGR being a Facebook group, right? I mean, yeah. that's what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so and 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 around this time, Man versus Meeple comes onto the scene. Um, oh man, those two guys. What are their names? Um, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, uh-oh. I want to look it up. Hold on. Well, one of them is named after me. Yeah, Jer- no, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy. Jeremy and, the, and David. 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 I'll let David. You out. Yeah, it's I'll fine. Well, no, it's... <laughs> man, I'm I, I'm actually terrible with names. I'm all about their... I'm, I can tell you what their icons look like. But, yeah. um... 
so they they like they build the stage they come yeah. in they got the production value yeah. and then like dive hard both in terms of the content the quality of the content but they like start doing events yeah. and you know like i don't know where i don't know anything about those guys' backstory but they just sort of were like we're doing it big yeah yeah. And so that's probably – they're probably starting to trend up as you're still at BGR because it sounds like you jo- you joined about two years into what they were doing, right? Yeah. Am I getting yeah, this? Yeah, they were – I was going to say they were a couple more. You know, I want to say they were like three or four years into it. They they have a great system. They are great content creators and great minds. Um, and I was wondering why the heck they would even want me on the roster, honestly, because I'm a little raw. You know, I'm a little raw and sure. I'm not like as formal as they are in a sense. But that's exactly why they brought me on. Sure, sure. So, yeah, they were just like, we want your passion and we want to do that. So I was like, that's cool. I will be me and I will get better at being who I am, you know, along the way. So And so and yeah. so, so then how does that – so when you do that, because I have not had this opportunity because no, you know, look I'm at in you. My, own, my own little sphere. But when they're like, all right, cool, you're going to be a contributor, was it like instant – all your content was with them? Was it like, no, we're just going to send you stuff every once in a while? Like, how, did, how does oh. that work? Oh, okay. So, yeah, we, we basically are, we are a pool of people. And, uh, you know, people just ask, you know, ask for previews. And sometimes, you know, we, we all pick. We all pick what we want. And we also cherry pick. Sure. And we also, you know, and we is all, this like in a Slack channel? Is this in a group? No, it's just, I mean, it's only us. So we all talk. It's okay. not like, you know, it's, and, and of course, you know, Jeremy and David are the owners. So, they, I mean, they really, and they, you know, they produce literally the best content on our channel. There's no question for the, that of that. Sure. And so I expect that some of those things, the bigger products will get pulled by them, but I've had big ones too. So it's, it's not, you know, it's just a thing. And I usually still to this day recruit projects. <laughs> I just do. I, I like, I'm, it's in me. I don't wait for people. I don't like sure, to wait. Sure. You don't like, yeah. like, I want to play your game. Can you send it over? Yeah, please? I want to play your game. Seven, seven Citadel. Jeremy has one and Jeremy has one. <laughs> like he's like, Whoa, you have a copy. I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> I don't wait. I don't wait. And so, and so, um, okay. And so you're, and so you start, and so you said you've been with him for about a year mm-hmm. doing more and more content. Yep. Some of which is solo, but other stuff is just general, right? Yeah. So we've I've been doing things under it's it's solo content, and then I do the Kickstarter previews for them, right? As well. okay, got it. Um, I'm working on other things, but they've kind of like been off and on, and I'm just trying to find a niche that will work well for for the well, channel. I mean, when I when I think solo, I think you, and I think like Mike Delicio, and maybe a couple yeah. other guys. There's, I mean, I think there's only so much royalty in solo right now. Yeah, there's a, there's a, you know, I, f- I feel like a lot of people are playing solo, but I'm very thankful that people do know me for solo play right. and then I get a suggestion for solo play. That's really something I do appreciate. You know, it's a big community and I'm, I'm very fortunate that that community has responded to what I've done, you know, like sure. as much as I love it and it's like, wow, people actually give a crap, you know, like that's, that's the pat on the back that you get when you're up late at night. That's sure. it. That's sure. all you get. That's it. <laughs> That's all you get. So your wife's not patting that. you on the back, this right? And my wife ain't patting me on the back. <laughs> Even my son is like, "Oh my god, Dad!" <laughs> like, yeah. How old is your son? He's eight. All right. He's good. Eight. Yeah, yeah. We play our games together, but he's just like, "Dad, aren't you tired?" I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> Dad's got to prep. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to play the games. You got to set up the Dad stuff. Prep. Do you do? Yeah. I assume, but just are you doing all your when you deliver a video for Man vs. Meeple, is it final content you deliver to them, or do they do any yeah, post process? So yeah, you have to. No, have... no, I do all my stuff. I do all my stuff. It's that was a really thing I was afraid of in this in the beginning. I mean, honestly, I was afraid of. I was like, okay, oh, God, God, these guys they're so good at their stuff. Like they're gonna take me for you know whatever. They're looking at my video and like you know they're kind of like eh, you know looking at looking at Jeremy. Jeremy never looks impressed by anything, so I was like, oh no. <laughs> and Kira's like, look, you know, she's trying to you know, and and I realized they're just like we just like your energy and you you can get better. And if you need help with anything, since day one they've been willing to help. But I haven't had someone say, hey, take this video back ever. They're great people. They've been very very kind to me. Cool. I haven't seen like anything uh, like I haven't seen like my video go up and it's a totally different video or anything like that. There's no, uh, you know, it's like, wait, I didn't do that. No, there's sure, none of that sure. stuff. Like we're, we're a team. We're a great team. Awesome. Well, that, that, yeah. and so, 
you know, I, well, okay, a couple things. So one, you know, for for those watching who aren't as familiar with your content, are there any like, is there any like highlight video or review or solo thing that you're like, if you want to know what I'm about, watch this video or these two videos? You know what? I think one of the, my favorite videos um, of me is pretty much every dang on solo Sunday when you watch me go through the process mentally of <laughs> of making choices and watching myself lose slowly and then realizing I lose I'm losing like I did last week with Title Blades like just the writing on the wall and me like watching my when I watch myself when I edit myself I'm like boy I'm really going through like a breakdown of my own sure. like I see the losses coming the, 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 the playthrough you just wa- watch you play a game just watch me play a game I think that's enough there's no super highlight but I will tell you there's one video that I did for Suki Yumi Fall of the Moon on my channel that's still up Jamalaya plays games where I went all in on that game and it is a highly asymmetric game you can play up to five players and I went through every single faction and I just that the de- the level of detail and it took me I was so proud of that video when it was done all right and I still keep it up there it's just a video that I really I don't know if I would even do that video the same way again but it sure. just it was just like I was really proud of that video you know I was very proud of that video and um Say yeah, the name just, of the game again. It's called Suki Yumi. Suki Yumi. Like, yeah, Suki Yumi. I think it's actually like the header video for my site still. I don't even know if I changed it. Oh, but, okay, well, that, so that brings up a different question. So now that you're with Man vs. So I guess part of that transition, did you basically deprecate your site or just you? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's basically dead. I'll, I mean, I'll be probably futzing around on there when I need to throw something off on the side or something like that just to play with things because uh, it's always good to have that spot. Um, but – it's 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 dead. <laughs> and so, so Jumbo Live like, Place Games is dead. Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, no. But so dead. how how has that transition been, right? Like because, I mean, I think, it, as you have, as the industry grows, and then you have the bigger content sites with more resources and more people gathering. You know, the whether it's Men versus Meeple or the Dice Tower, or whomever. How, how how did it feel to step from being like a whatever? I don't know what you call it in content creation, but like a boutique creator, an independent creator to then being a collaborator on another channel where you don't have your, you have you, it's always you, mm-hmm. but it's not your channel. The, the, the subscribes go to theirs. Like how did you, how, how did that feel? How was it like to go through that process? So, so I think what you're, I think what you're saying and what I'm feeling are two different things. Well, that's right. So that's like, asking. yeah, like, yeah. So like what you're saying, there was another thing that was going on that I felt like that what you're saying like oh it's I'm gonna get swallowed up I'm not gonna be me anymore it's gone it's dead you know like it's dead (laughs) and like wait I want like maybe I want to make content over here and they're like nope you make content here that's it and when I joined Van Mercer's Meeple I was very clear I was like the last offer I had that's what they wanted and I don't want that so if you want that we're actually done talking and they were like, no, we want you to do whatever you heck you want to do, but you're going you're to be part of us, like, and we're going to help you, and da-da-da-da. And I said, that's exactly what I want. And it's never been – nobody's ever told me that I have to shut down Jumbalaya Plays Games. It's just that I wanted to go deeper into the fold that is Man vs. Meeple. So I attached – I stapled myself onto that. And now we're – right. So now we're just, you know, stapled and super glued to, to each other now. And – the cool thing is, is that that leaves me to do whatever I want, as I always have. Um, even when I was with BGR, I had some things that I was kind of like self-restricting, and there was also some restriction. So it was sure. like, I was just kind of like, like, oh, I got to be loyal to these pe- you know, people for doing this and this and that. Um, you know, and then if I went somewhere else, I was like, well, I got to be loyal to them. And I have this thing about loyalty. It's very important to me. Sure. And um you know, because people have helped me out to get where I am to like sit here with you today. And like, I really appreciate those people. So like, if you do that, I'll be loyal to you. I'll take care of you. And um, yeah, man, I just like, I'm so happy that I'm in a spot where I can create whatever content I want, wherever I want. I go promote games and review games and I go to everybody's podcasts. I can do whatever I want. Nothing. I don't have to have a meeting with anybody. You know, like I started a podcast. <laughs> he was like, I got a text from Jeremy. He's like, 
dude, you're starting a podcast. That sounds fun. <laughs> like, <laughs> does it, so how? Does it so what's the pod? Me. What's the podcast called? So we just started. Uh, me and uh, Steph Hodge from uh, BGG. Um, she does a she does a um, blog on there, and she does some awesome pictures. And so she's Ste- got her so, own. So Steph Hodge, let's talk about Steph, Steph Hodge. Hodge for a Steph, she, let's talk about Steph Hodge. She, okay, you know how I know Steph Hodge? Hodge, because she does not like pencil first games. Oh Lord! Oh, like Lord. I can't tell you because her content's gorgeous. Her, yeah, it her, is. Her, her, her blog's gorgeous. She takes fantastic pictures, and every time there's a picture of a pencil first games on her chat on, on her in her in her blog, I'm like, oh. This person yeah. is gonna absolutely enjoy our games. Like yeah. it seems like our games would like fit right in, and every time it's like, I hated this, or I didn't like it, <laughs> or it didn't work. Oh, I mean, no. it's been like I feel like the last seven games. I don't, you know, she plays it however wow. she plays it, but like yeah. every time because there's it's such a pretty block, like it gets my attention. Yeah, it's always like, oh, maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe not. I probably should pay more attention. Like I need to, yeah. I need to like dig in and then be like, I've made dig this in. game that you're gonna like. I don't think anyone else in the world will like this game, but if you play she, it, <laughs> she is really eclectic, like I am too. We just have such. Um, that's why we came together. We have such, uh, just all over the place tastes sure. of games. You know, like I take them in, like I take them all in, and I take them for what they're worth. Enjoy the experience, and then I tell you about my experience. And she's the same way too. She's a man. She's a she digests games at a. I can't believe the rate she digests games at. Like, it's it's. She plays crazy. them pretty quick. She plays them pretty quick though. Like she's <laughs> she's turning and burning at a rate I've it's never. Fine. I've, it's fine. It's fine. And I'm giving it a hard yeah. time. I think it's worth no. No, it's, I, no I, 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 I don't. I can't speak for every. I mean, I I had no idea you were going to bring her up. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's okay. The um, I I think people don't realize it. I mean, it's maybe not the true for like gigantic publishers, but in the like Kickstarter indie scene, like. Even if you're writing BGG blogs, I mean, hers is pretty popular, but anybody's. It's like anytime a, a, one of my games gets flagged by somebody, like I sit there and I scroll through and I look at it and be like, oh, all right, you liked it, you didn't like it. Um, but she she churns through it. She does a lot of games. She does a um, lot of games. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, I, never, somebody whose name's like, she has the, her, the head of her blog is like, like five or six, like of these weird meeples, like in a line. Yeah, all the meeples of the rainbow. Yeah, yeah whatever that is. Yeah. That's a, that, it's, it's the image. Okay, but so yeah. like setting. And and by the way, I think at most I've said, um, "Man, I hope you like the next one." And she said something like, "Maybe, um, maybe." That's like that's the her. entire. That's like the entirety of our exchange of all time. But but uh, so you started a blog, uh, excuse yeah. me, a podcast, and yeah. so. And is it just you two chatting? Like, what's I, I haven't heard. Yeah, it. A... so we we literally just the first video just launched today. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, so the this is probably going to post next week. Yeah. So, like, it. Yeah. Are they weekly, or what are you thinking? Yeah, so there's going to be every other Thursday. Um, All right, so maybe yeah. check so it out because it's about to be the second one. Yeah, or the second so, one yeah. just dropped today, or something like that. So we have this podcast we just started. It's called Pile of Games, and it's just because we always have piles of games. I mean, like I'm surrounded by games that I have to play. These are games that are just for promotion back here. Like I have like they're just there. Like I have so many to get through. And she's like, I always have so many to get through. We always have a pile of games to talk about. So why don't we make a podcast? We're not talking about any issues in the world. We're not talking about it. We don't have time for that. We got so many games to talk about. Why don't we just talk about a stack of games? So we're going to be well, doing before things. Before or after you play them? Uh, so. One episode is going to be ones that we are looking forward to play. So pretty much things that like I, when I unbox stuff, I actually, as soon as stuff comes in a box, I take all of it out. I actually unpack it, I organize it, and then like I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets me excited about the game because I love to read a lot of rule books. I just love reading rule books. Um, so if you have a bad rule book, I'm going to crush you. <laughs> I am. I Those am. are the I'm upcoming videos. You. Those are the upcoming no, that's, videos. That's true. It's true. If you have a bad rule book, I'm going to crush you. And, um, she, she just like, you know, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. And then it goes to the side. <laughs> she has so many, like, but we're both kind of the similar. So we're going to, we have one episode where it's like games that we're excited about playing. And then we have one episode of games that we did play. So it's like, both but at the end of every episode the end half of the episode is a review a full-on review and the first review we have is called for the magnificent which is a game that came out of Essen last year by aporta games okay. and it's, it's here in the states now it just came out in the states 
And then uh, the next one up is Pendulum. Oh. So, yeah. Let's talk about a device. I want to stay tuned for that. Yeah, well, you know, no, no, you know, I mean... Uh, stay tuned for that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, I think... I mean, it's hard not to go out and, and track down and listen to, you know, any Stonemeyer game release and, like, what, how the reception yeah. is and how's it going. Yeah, but, you know, I, I would say to you... Um, I don't fall for that, you know, like I don't I and I don't like that. That's that's a thing. That's a community person in me. So like when I see that kind of uh, negative energy in the community, I try oh, to like sure. t- take it face on because I'm like, that's not you're actually not doing anything, but oh, you're, sure. you're, you're 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 trying to do something. And I'm like, like you could actually save your finger energy for so many other things. <laughs> you know? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I tell people like that's that's, that's the thing with Stomar. It's like. There are so many things you could get into and bring up, but that's just every person and every publisher. You know, it's like stop, guys. Like, yeah, no, it's it's interesting know? to me. Well, it's a couple things. One, it's always interesting to me to see. You know, like Jamie. Ha- I mean, has has like the 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 people that you know really love his stuff, and the people who don't. Um, but, you know, he hit a level of success where there's a lot of people paying attention, right? James yes. Hudson's another guy where a lot of people were paying attention, right? So, like, he got beat up in his own in, a, in his own accord. Um, yeah. But, you know, so it's interesting for me with Jamie. I, uh, you, you might not know this because, you know, but Jamie and I actually uh, went lived in Japan at the same time together in the same Japanese program. This is like oh, 20 well, years ago. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's, it's crazy. And we weren't like, I mean, we were friendly, but not like anyone I kept in touch yeah. with. And it yeah. wasn't until um, I did my first Kickstarter with Skullcalo, excuse me, not Liftoff, where um, uh, the one tar, what's her name? Tiffany, um, Tiffany Ralph. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She was like, oh, you're doing a Kickstarter. There's this guy with this blog. He's got this information. And even when I started reading his blog, I didn't even put the name together. Right. And... You know, it was such an interesting experience. Um, I was thinking about including a game, a, a different game with it, or doing something on my Kickstarter, and they were like, "Hey, Jamie, what do you think of what Ed's doing?" Like on Twitter, like this, you know. And to me, and like it was both like, <laughs> "Are you calling out this random dude to like this yeah. Twitter conversation?" I was new to Twitter, um, but yeah. then also he responded right, like so. And yeah. so I was like, "Well, hey, if you're going to give your opinion, like let me give you more information." And I emailed him. And he was like, I don't think you know this. Or do you realize that like we went to school together? And I was like, what? <laughs> um, and so, and then, and, and wow. so, so since then, um, you know, since I, I was in the board gaming space, I've just been very familiar and aware of all the stuff he's doing. So it's, it's always curious to me, right? Like how that, like the, he gets a lot of vitriol, but, but setting that aside, because there's all sorts of things, components to that, just seeing the sort of, the power of somebody who has a huge hype machine, whether or yes. not he's always wants it, and like what that drags with it. Like there's the yeah. positive hype and the counter positive hype and the negative yeah. hype. Um, so, so I guess for me, it's more of a curiosity. Like I, you know, because I don't even, you know, he left Kickstarter, so I don't even back the stuff anymore because it's yeah. like a pre order. Who does that? Right. Uh, yeah, smart move. By the way, <laughs> smart move. Get off. I mean, like for him at that level. Oh that's no, a smart yeah. Move. Well, Scythe, yeah, smart Scythe move. really almost destroyed him. Like I think yeah. the. Dealing with the ten thousand, you know, backers of like doing a lot of Kickstarters. It just the difference between five hundred backers and two thousand backers, mm-hmm. and two thousand and five thousand. It's like like when you're the person answering every email. But yes. um, but anyway, but yeah, but so I, I don't. I haven't actually played most of his recent stuff. I think Charterstone was probably the last thing I played. Um, yeah. But it's just interesting when with with Pendulum and other ones. It's just seeing it, like seeing the Dice Tower review, seeing this review, and just sort of paying attention to how it's going. So it sounds like you had your own experience with the game. You, you know, um, what I, one thing I'll say, and this is like what I love. Um, I love energy. I love energy, and I love the energy that those games generate sure real time real time and, yeah like i just love the energy oh no just him like the, oh, the release stuff. the, oh. the window oh, like oh, all God. that build up because that's what i do like a community stuff so i'm like sure. i'm in the chats you know like i'm in the chats trying to get engagement like i'm trying to do this stuff and it's really actually like it's not like i'm hired by anybody it's just a, my interest you know like sure. to get people going and make sure people are having a good time and 
and uh, I just love that how where it goes. But I try to like try to contain it and keep it towards the positive because it's like there's just no use. But but um, I, I digress with about, about that. But yeah, pendulum. <laughs> yeah, we there's some things about pendulum that have me going. Uh, they flip me back and forth just like the timer. So sure, yeah, sure. It's, a, it's a it's an interesting game. It's a very um, I actually really appreciate this design more than his other designs, just because I like someone who takes a risk like that. Well, and I think I think that you can I like say when that, people do that. You know, there's no incentive for him to start there's... doing random weird Kickstarter mm-hmm. stuff, right? Like mm-hmm. it's like, oh, that mm-hmm. game's just new and different and a risk. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But uh, no, so yeah, I'm not on his. Uh, I don't get free copies, so I, I, I haven't got. Oh, so oh, stop! Oh, kid! Oh, kid! Oh, stop! Oh, so tell oh. me. I mean, talk about talk about a way. Oh, stop. I don't get that many, but I, I, again, if if you if if you watch the, my channel, I've done this like absurd amount of blue orange games. Yeah. And what happened was, um, they asked me Brandon? to. Well, they for um, what was it? It was canceled. Origins Online. Yeah. They 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 had oh, a virtual. Something about that. Well, sure. They they had a virtual <laughs> booth. <laughs> and they were like, hey, because, you know, they're in the Bay Area and say, hey, could you do a virtual, introduce these three yeah. games for the, for the, as, just as part of a virtual booth. But they were like, hey, we want you to have our games in the background. And I was like, I got these three. They're like, well, yeah. what if we sent you some more? They sent me yeah. 30 games, like every right. single game for the last five years. The and, lineup. And, and so, you know, and it was in the background when I did the videos, which no one's ever seen because Origins got canceled. Um but um but you know it's fine but then i was like well i'm just gonna play these and they're really right. good because i could ask my kids like even you said your kid was eight yeah. like i was just like ethan who's 12 um hey man i'll pay you i'll pay you like three bucks any game yeah. you like sit down you learn how to play and then we play it together you know you you've done you've helped me out you've saved me two hours or whatever yeah and so you know i played you know, like 30 Blue Orange games, right? Orange, orange. You yeah, orange. well, and they're not too heavy. You know, you can play them all in half hour, 45 you know, minutes. You know what? You know what, though? Last year, last year, they had a pretty strong lineup, too. Like, they had a pretty strong, like, Oh, for sure. I mean, I, I was playing a lot for, of their games. For, I'm like, it made, yeah. it made me start, like, yeah. feeling bad as a publisher. Like, it yeah. was like, oh, man, yeah, these guys, like, games. every one of these games is, like, so well <laughs> done. Yeah, um, yeah, they had a good run. Like last year, I was playing everything Blue Orange. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they, yeah. they it was a, you know, and I, and 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 so yeah, I'm almost. I think I still have, because I have the same the the pile that I have, and I got to find a way to get through it. Uh, yeah. But you have those periods where you're like, you you get through the phase where you're like, all right, I just played 15 of these games, and then mm-hmm. the it, the pile that's the gotta play pile turns into the gotta film pile, right? Oh my gosh, man! I mean, you just. You just have no idea. Man. Right. I just like take, then, I, I try to explain to people like when you do more promotional stuff, like with that kind of thing and pictures and community stuff, it's like you end up with more things, more games, and it's like now you got to decide like what content is that going to be? You know, um, is it going to be for podcasts? Is this going to be for video content? Is this going to be just for you know pictures and talking about? Is it going to be for my? Um, my testing Saturday, which I just do games where I just play them, rip them out, play them. You know, some of the times I play them two handed and I just talk about my experience of the game. Um, I do like three or four of those in a day. And then I just, you know, and people ask me questions about the game and I keep playing and like, it just depends. So I have this option of kind of making different kinds of content. And I love that. Well, I it's love fun, that. Especially being it's able to so choose. It's so fun. It's just fun. Like to or- be able to choose, you know, like, I'm so glad I have that opportunity. I never gave that up, and I'm happy that I have the ability to do it. That's the thing. And are you are you nights and weekends, or are you full time? Oh, this is just nights and weekends, and pretty much a lot of my days when my job is boring. <laughs> sure, sure. But you you have you have you have a full time yeah. job as well, right? Yeah, I got a full time job. Yep, got a full time job. I work at the VA. I'm a trainer. Um, so yeah, for a while there was a real big lull where I didn't have much to do at all because we were not we were, weren't teaching for seven months. We weren't teaching at all. Um, so I was just checking people's bands as they came into the hospital and making sure they didn't have any COVID symptoms. All right. So I mean nothing. Four or five hours, five hours, six hours a day, nothing. Nothing. So and yeah. so is that? I mean, not we haven't been talking about COVID at all, but like yeah. is that starting to shift a little bit now? Yes. So I yeah came back out of that. And I've been working on writing two programs right now, and uh, I'm just really excited about it. Um, yeah, I just 
it's just so it's so what I need. I need that energy back. I need people. I need I need to exchange and I need to I love to teach. I love to share. And that's something I give to board game community. And that's something I love to give to people and make impact. Sure. sure. Uh, so I just I, I get to do it with my fellow brothers and, and sisters in, in combat and the people who are veterans. And it just it just means a lot to me. Um, so, you know, I love my job, man. So I'm, I'm really just excited to be doing my job. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you know, like doing my well, job. It's, it's been, yeah. you know, lots of, you know, I've spoken to a number of folks, both filmed and otherwise. But, you know, it's been, you know, the situation has been life changing for everybody, but in very different ways, depending on mm-hmm. what's going on in your life, where you, what's your stature, what, what, what the world's like, what kind of job you have or don't have. Um, yeah. So it's. I mean, and then even uh, I forget where are you. You're are you still in Wisconsin? Yes, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Um, like even crazy stuff like yesterday in California in the Bay Area, which is where I am. You know, the world was orange. It was yeah. literally Blade Runner, like mm-hmm. full orange, <laughs> yeah. from seven a.m. to seven p.m. Yeah. Orange, orange. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, my kids are asking about them. I was sort of like. Hey guys, uh, we've never seen this. This is new to yeah. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody turned on, and the color is orange. If you ever seen the uh, movie Oz, yeah, it's uh, and, and the movie Oz, which is the Wizard of Oz, except it's Motown version. There's a part where they're on the yellow brick road. When they get to the yellow brick area, it actually is a big dance number where they change the colors of the whole yellow brick road. So then it becomes blue, and then yellow. And I'm, when you say that, when you say orange, I'm thinking like, oh, it's oh, orange. It's so that orange. everything it's is so orange. orange. And they kind of like dance and prance around. It's so, so, really... So, hold on. My, yeah. my brain isn't putting this up. Wasn't... So oh, you said eyes. Wasn't there also like the whiz? No, the whiz. The oh, okay. Whiz. It's the same thing. Okay, okay. That's what we're talking about. Oh, that's Michael fine. Jackson, Diana Ross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I, you're I'm describing sorry. a movie I remember, but it was a different name. Yeah, okay. my fault. My fault. Eyes might be a horror film. We got to be careful. Yeah, I know. Um... And so, um, crazy. Yeah, yeah. So things are crazy. Well, so it's good. <laughs> we can, we can yeah, go everywhere. I'm gonna like tie this back. <laughs> okay. So, so <laughs> board games, media. Board games. So yeah. you're now part of the Mound versus Meeple family. It's mm-hmm. been going well. You've been making lots of content. You know, in when you think about content creation for the rest of this year and into next year, I mean, what are some things that you're excited about doing? Okay. Well, I'm really excited about uh, really digging into some reviews. Uh, really digging into reviews because people are like, really? I thought you review stuff. I'm like, well, that's part of the discussion of preview and review that people continuously have over and over again. Uh, when I do do my previews, I do actually kind of inject some of my opinion there because I don't want to sound like bland. You know, um, I don't want to sound robotic. I want people to know that the products that I picked, I picked, and I wouldn't pick garbage because i would actually return garbage uh (laughs) like if i like the game i will preview the game and if i preview the game and i like the game i will let you know that i like the game um and i think that's important i try to keep it to keep the details to a minimum but i definitely let people know hey like this is a game that i want to get behind but i also want people to know that i can be critical of games and how i do it and i do it in a professional manner um you know i don't want to be like i can be as congenial as I am, but like at the same time, like, man, sometimes, you know, some games are, you know, they need a critical eye so that you understand the both sides of it. And I, I want to do that. And, uh, so, so do we, are, you've, you've talked about this video series a few times. Does it exist yet? Are there any yet? Or is it, when's the, no, when's the uh, first one uh, of these? So I'm working, I'm, I've been, oh man, every time I do this, everything, my schedule just fills with stuff. So it's like, I have to, I have to do this. Um, and I know they're like, Jeremy, just do it. Every time they're like, Jeremy, just do it. I'm like, well, I'm doing this over there. Like, you're doing stuff everywhere. Sure. Just, that's what you want to do. Just do it. And I review games on other people's podcasts all the time. Now, I'll jump on there and do it, but I don't do it uh, for our channel. So, so what's, actually, the, what's the, that's what's the, what's, I mean, so when are you going to get the next one done? When's it going to happen? <sighs> I, 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 <laughs> no, you know what? I'm actually I, after after I get done with this week, I'm gonna make sure I get it on the table and get it done. We were gonna do. You were talking about the future of like content creating for me, like in the next year. One of the things I really wanted to do was like a live review, just a live review. Like we have, you know, like we go through the game. Maybe we even make like a quick cut video, and then um, and then we come back and we just talk about the game. 
and do a critically live and answer questions. And I thought like that'd be kind of interesting. Well, I mean, it, it it's got potential. You just got to yeah, commit the potential. hour, right? Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. that's yeah. the that's the the beauty of these these Q and As, which you know, admittedly, aren't the most viewed things in the world. So there might be something mm-hmm. to say about that. But like the um, you know, they're just the call. Right, like we don't, you know, we don't prep it. There isn't there. I mean, like we had like a couple yeah. sentences, but we're like, hey man, we're just yeah. gonna dive in and start chatting just about stuff, play by ear. Um, and you know, for me, it's like, well, it was interesting to me. What, yeah, <laughs> you nice. know, I learned I mean, something. I uh, watch yours all the time, so I don't even, like I but, just I just watch them. But like that's you gotta understand, like what when I so I I work to find content creators for certain publishers and i do like this and that i was like and 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 they will ask me for advice I'm like don't ask me my advice is just do it and i don't even take my own advice just sure. do it well so you know the, like the, I the reason i like it. the live video you don't yeah. gotta edit it nope. you, you don't don't even throw that in what day is it today today is thursday mm-hmm. of whatever week this is because this isn't a live video yeah but yeah why this weekend, man? Just do a live review of a game. Pick an old I, game I, and just just it's it's only as long as the call as long as the video is, man. You know what? Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. You're like don't Ed. You I don't even know you. This Let is our me first conversation. I'm gonna make up an excuse. Um, but yeah, you're you're right, and that's the thing. You're right, and I I do that same thing. I'm like, just do it. Don't don't worry about the views because those people who do who subscribe to your channel. They are committing to your content sure. and you have to believe that, especially when you're smaller, because if you don't like when you get bigger, just realize most of them are not watching your content. Most of them aren't like you can have 80,000 subscribers, 80,000 people aren't watching your content. No. All right. Like even the people with a million subscribers, all a million of them are not watching your content. So like appreciate those thousand people that are sure. there. You know, like the potential thousand people. And if you get 320 views, there's 320 people watching your stuff. Like at some point. Yeah, that's a lot of time. That's that's a lot. And you need to value that and make that better. So like Q&As, man, like if you know the people, like you got your average, right? You got your average and you stick with that and you embrace it. And yeah, it doesn't feel good after a while. You're like, this seems like it's deteriorating. Maybe it is, but people still watch. You know, like that's how I feel. Like, that's yeah, how I yeah. feel. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to gain anything. I'm just trying to get out content, and you know, unless there's ten views, you know, like unless there's like ten views on it, I, I'll just keep doing it. I would just yeah, keep doing don't it. worry about it. I, I, yeah, I think man. it's easy to it's easy to worry about it. Stop beating don't. yourself up, man. You stop beating yourself up. Look at you now. I'm gonna twist this on you, man. No, Dude, I was having the content you do. I, I you was, I was, I, I was having a conversation. With Keith, because you know, I he likes to beat me up, which is fine. Yeah. But but he was like, so hold on a second, you're doing all this stuff, you're doing these, you got the publishing and this, you're doing these videos. Doesn't seem like they're taken off. Like they seem pretty flat. Like is it really? Like why are you doing it all? And I'm like, screw you, man. I'm yeah, you know having a good saying? time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just do it, dude. Like do it, man. I mean, like I, you know, so like you were just talking about not editing. Like I actually go through the work of. After I do the live plays that stay on Facebook, I download them and then I go back on, you know, on our YouTube channel. I edit them. So I edit them down to like a certain time because I'm just like nobody wants to watch like two hours of somebody playing a you know board game live. So I try to edit it down, take all the AP out. I'm like, you guys don't understand how much work goes oh, into this. Oh, it's so stuff. much work. It's like, so I don't think much work. Get it? I'm like, I have to watch this thing all over again and Whoa. like decide like how I'm going to shave this oh, down, man. correct it, the mistakes. It's, you know, like it's so much work. I mean, especially yeah. for a long video. The uh, these videos, if you go to my first one, two, three of them, uh, because of the software you use, I can get me speaking, you speaking, us speaking. Right. And so, like, I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna do it so that way you're speaking. It's gonna be on you, and then it's gonna come back to me, and then it's gonna be like both." And and yeah. like, the, you know, it added like six hours of extra editing or whatever. Not that's probably an exaggeration, yeah. but like way more. But, right. Um, whereas now I'm just going to save this yeah. and then I'm going to post it and then, yeah. all, you know, and that'll be yeah. that. Um, but I feel uh, you on that. I feel that and that's, that's what we need to get to with our pile of games podcast. Cause I was sitting there like stressing, trying to throw emojis and silly stuff in there. I'm like, what are you doing, Jeremy? People just, 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 just do the energy talking back and forth thing. 
and let's have fun. So yeah, I'm not yeah. doing that anymore after these two first two we've recorded. I'm like, the next ones we're going to loosen it up a tad. Yeah, I was trying yeah. too hard. Yeah. Don't be a well, try hard. That's what I said. Don't be don't, a try don't hard. Be hard. Don't be a try hard, bro. <laughs> well, listen, man. <laughs> Um, it's been an absolute pleasure, pleasure talking. Oh my God. Um, we've been talking for a while. Oh my God. That's, yeah, man. That's, it has been, that's we, thing. we're I know. at 50 minutes. This is about <laughs> the, the, not only, not only the limit of interest, but like actually at like any, at much, get much longer. I try to like save it and it, it like breaks on me. So I don't, I don't, oh, I, don't, yeah, I, don't yeah. I don't have that problem. Yeah. Um, but no, man, I, I, I dig all the places you're making content and yeah. I, I see you popping up all over the place. And I, I, you know, we've known each other for a while now, but we hadn't done one of these videos. So I thought it'd be fun. Yeah. And, um, yeah. sounds like you're doing great work professionally and you're doing great work in board games. And I can't wait to see what Mr. Critical, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's like, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know what your alter ego is, but like, you know, the, the uh, smile is still the same. The, the smile is still the same. So like <laughs> reviews through my teeth or whatever you call it. Yeah. Um, I got a different smile. It's a different smile. It's more of a scotchy smile, you know, like <laughs> like the smile. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's I, I I'm fair. I'm all I'm fair, but I'm critical. I think people just it's just a different spin on who I am. That's all. We'll but, see. We'll see. Th- we'll see how people like that person. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me on here, though. I just yeah. want to be clear. Thank you so much for having me on me because I, you know, I've been watching your content for a long time, and it's just a, it is very much a privilege just to actually have oh, you on your content on your channel, though. That's oh. important. Well, to me. thank you very thank much. You. It's been a pleasure, and for those, however many are watching, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> um, talk to you later, man. Take care, brother. Bye. Take care, party people. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.